Okay guys, it is time. Oh, I love going to the dump. Hello there and welcome to Fred's channel. My name is Frederica and I love going on adventures and traveling around the world. But right now I'm back in Denmark and since I recently just sold my apartment, I bought this tiny house instead. But it needs a lot of work. And therefore I'm doing a lot of do-it-yourself renovation projects right now. Hey again guys! Okay, so a lot of things has happened lately. For example, I had my birthday this week. So I turned a quarter of a century now. And also my mom and stepdad was married and had their beautiful wedding. Uh, but here's a picture of me and Chris from the wedding because I want to say of course I didn't record anything from the wedding to this vlog. But yeah, it was an amazing party and we had so much fun dancing all night. But also here in the cabin some things has happened because all my furnitures are now here. But also some things hasn't happened yet. Like the office. I thought it would be done by now, but yeah. I was busy with the wedding, I was a Toastmaster at the wedding, birthday, etc. So it's it's gonna happen soon, fingers crossed. But yeah, I moved all my furniture to the cabin right now. And let me just take you back to last week when I was in the apartment, going to the dump and moving the rest of the furniture. Okay, so I just went to the dump to get rid of some stuff. And look what I got, this one and this one for free. I only have space for like one of them in inside the cabin, but I had like five seconds to decide which one I wanted and I couldn't decide. So I just took both of them and then probably the light one is gonna be in the cabin. And I don't know about this one then, maybe in the guest house or guest room if one day we're gonna build that or I don't know, maybe sell it or yeah, I'll figure out, but they are pretty awesome. And I mean, I couldn't just let the old guys just throw them out. So. I got them! <laughs> Spoiler alert, I tried to fit the carpets inside the cabin. They were way too big. So yeah, well, let's just go back to the apartment again. Okay, wow, this is kind of crazy. And at the same time, it feels totally normal. I mean, the apartment is completely empty right now, as you can probably see. Uh, I guess I should be thinking that this is completely crazy and it feels so weird to see the apartment so empty, but I don't know, it feels right. I mean, I've loved staying here in this beautiful apartment. I love, oops, of course. <laughs> I love renovating it. And I mean, it has been such a great home for three years, but it just feels so, it just feels like the right thing right now to give it to somebody else. But yeah, so everything is empty in here right now. The sound is pretty bad. I don't know if you can hear that as well, guys. But yeah, this is it, I guess. Or tomorrow is it, but yeah. Okay, in here it's a complete mess, but I had something out here I wanted to show you because this is so cool. This is the beautiful sunset I can see here from the cabin. It's not every single night it's this beautiful but almost actually it's super cool and especially because in the apartment i couldn't see the sunset so here i'm really really appreciating it and also right over there maybe there or there somewhere over there uh the sunrise is so i actually have both the sunrise and the sunset every single day that I can just enjoy the view of. Okay, so in the beginning of the movie, you were probably thinking, what is she doing now? Why is she wearing a towel? And it's time for what? But you know what? Let me just show you what it was all about. I am gonna do a little haircut. I promised myself, like I think maybe a couple of months ago, that after my mom's wedding, I would cut off a bit more than I usually do. Uh, I normally always cut myself. I don't cut myself. I just I cut the hair, that's it. But this time I'm gonna cut off a bit more because it's pretty damaged and it really needs some just like first aid. So I mean, it's just time for it. Okay, so step one, put it in a ponytail like this. 
Step two. This is it. <laughs> Step three. You got some hair. Oh yeah. And let me just tell you that you shouldn't do this if your hair is straight. This is only a tip for people with curls. Again, don't do this on straight hair. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't guarantee the result. If you want to save a lot of money, this is awesome. Like, this is what I normally do. And it just works for me. It's probably because I got the curls, so the mistakes I'm cutting is hidden in between the curls. What do you think? That was it. Pretty, pretty easy to cut curly hair by yourself. But again, I don't guarantee anything about the result or anything, but this works for me. So right now I'll just let it dry and yeah, then we can see the result. So um, this is the result. I don't know, it looks like um, kind of like an afro, I think, right? It's very um, puff. <laughs> anyway, I think my hair is saying thank you right now. It was pretty damaged and it really needed this haircut. I might have to get used to this length. It's a bit shorter than or a lot shorter than I usually do. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what do you think. Do you prefer the long hair or do you prefer this one? The kind of crazy afro thing going on. Today's project is cutting the hedges and Chris is already down there going crazy, which is absolutely amazing. Look at him. What a champ, right? <laughs> but now it's also my turn to start doing something. <laughs> Done? Almost. Yeah. It's actually better than I thought. Yeah, it looks yeah. great. It's not as hard as it would look like. No. They're pretty easy to handle. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks great. It's better than manual. Yes. It's gonna be perfect. Oh yeah. An update on the greenhouse. <laughs> look! I got cucumbers. Almost. We are sweating like crazy because today is one of those few summer days where it's just 30 degrees or above here in Denmark. It happens very rarely but today is one of them and it's just it's yeah it's pretty warm so sweating like maniacs but it looks so great. Okay the result is maybe not perfect but it is so much better and now next step is to collect all of these small branches and put them on the bonfire down there so we can light a bonfire later on and now the most important part of it here you go hey. Hey. <laughs> here's cheers there is a special someone you have to meet. I haven't introduced you yet, which is a complete mistake. This little guy is absolutely amazing. So meet Robo. How are you doing, Robo? How are you doing, Robo? Robo, all good? Come on. How are you doing? Good? Yeah? Yeah, he, he doesn't talk much, but he's a absolutely champ to have because he just takes care of the lawn I don't have to do anything so thanks Robo it's a new day in the cabin so we are planning to do a small bonfire later on today because the weather is amazing and the branches has dried up but also we got a new project going on so Chris he already started and let me just show you yo 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 what's the plan for today meeting out <laughs> And today's pro trick is if you're weeding out stuff that's prickly or it can give you a rash then put on long sleeves yes yeah. the beautiful long sleeves yeah. and it's all of this that we're gonna weed out so we got a lot of work ahead of us 
it is bonfire time. It smokes, smokes like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks great. Enjoying a beer. <laughs> Okay, so it's smoking quite a lot down there. And honestly, I'm not fully sure if we're allowed to make a bonfire like this in this neighborhood, but um, it's actually super cozy to make bonfires here. So yeah, fingers crossed that nobody is complaining or suddenly any fire truck will be here. Perfetto. Learning it by doing it. How goes? <laughs> Steady and slowly. Still a lot of smoke, but almost burnt through the pile. Had some people come by, have a look. Checking us out. On fire. <laughs> no. The roof, the roof is on fire. Anyway. Okay, so the bonfire yesterday, it took a little more time than expected. So we didn't manage to finish up weeding out. There was a fly. So the plan for today is to finish up weeding out over here. And yeah, Chrissy already started. Nice job. <laughs> The last thing I want to mention in this episode is something that has been on my mind for a little while and something I have wanted to mention. Because as you can see, it's one big mess in here. As you might have noticed, I don't know, but I'm never wearing makeup in these movies. At least not what I'm aware of that I have done. Um, because that's how it is right now. My, my cabin is one big mess. I am renovating it. I am still trying to figure out where everything has to go. I don't have really any storage right now, like any closet or anything. So yeah, it's one big mess in here. And usually I don't wear makeup, so I'm not gonna put on makeup just to talk with you guys. And that's just something for me that is very important. That whatever you see and whatever I record for this Frats channel is how it actually is. Because I feel like often you look on Instagram, you look on YouTube, you look on all these social media and you see people being so perfect, but actually it's something that they have just like styled so it looked perfect and they're not perfect at all and I don't want to do that. For me, it's important that whatever I show is how it actually is. That's just what I wanted to mention. So I hope that it will inspire people to also just be themselves, both in real life and on social media. We don't need to style ourselves just to take a picture for a selfie on our Instagram story or something like this. Just be you and be awesome being you and just rock who you are, right? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching another episode of Fred's channel. I am looking so much forward to the next episode where hopefully I'll do a lot more renovation and show you some tips about that and yeah, just how show you how things goes and the result and so on. But yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to stay tuned whenever I upload a new episode. And also, if you like this episode, then hit the like button, the small thumbs up. That will be amazing. Because if you do so, you will help my content rise to the top, which I really hope. And also, uh, I just want to say I wish you a beautiful rest of your day and see you next time. <laughs> How is it? The roof or the house? The roof of the house. The roof is on fire, right? Um, so...